Hi, Algebra 2 students. Um, we're going to talk about rate of change and slope in this section. So you'll be able to find the rate of change, and it's also known as slope. So let's talk about rate of change first. Rate of change is a ratio that compares how much one quantity changes on average relative to the change in the other quantity. So you guys might know it as the change in y over the change in x. Okay. Um, when you're graphing, you'll use this. We've used this before in algebra. And so um, another way to write change in something is using the delta symbol, a triangle. So you might see me use this just because I don't like writing the change all the time. So change in y over change in x. The change of one quantity and relative to the change of the other quantity. Okay, and remember um, x is the independent variable and y is dependent. So um, y depends on what, what happens to x. So let's look at some real life situations or some real life examples where we would use rate of change. So here's a constant rate of change. Find the rate of change in temperature for the solutions shown to the right. So we want to find, remember it's change in y over change in x. And in this case, y would be the temperature, so the change in the temp over the change in time. Because the temperature is going to depend on time. So with that said, we can go ahead and set up um, our differences here, our subtraction, because change would be subtraction. So let's look here. We have 133.1 minus 139.4. And then that's our y is changing. And then let's look at our x's now. So we have 5 minus 2. So this would be a negative 6.3 over 3, which ends up being a negative 2.1. So what does that mean? It means the rate of change or um, the temperature is decreasing, um, decreases, oops, if I could spell decreases, right? decreases by 2.1 degrees Celsius each minute. So that's what's happening here. And this would be constant rate of change because it's happening each time. Now there's another rate of change called the average rate of change. So we want to find the average rate of change of percent of total music sales for both CDs and downloads from 2001 to 2008. So we're looking at the change in percent over the change in time. So let's do the CDs first. So this is on average over the whole span between 2001 to 2008. So the change in percent is going to be 77.8 minus 89.2 from 2008 to 2001 and then so we're going to keep it in that order so when we do that we end up with a negative I'll write it down here a negative 11.4 over 7 which is a negative 1.63. So how can we say that? What does that mean? Well, it's a decline in sales, um, a decline, the average decline of 1.63% um, per year. I guess I should say average decline. Per year. So why don't you pause the video and go ahead and do the download. See what the 
average rate of change is for the downloads. So this was for the CDs. Go ahead and do the downloads. So this is what I got for the downloads, 1.8%, and that will be an increase. So it'll be an average increase per year. So that's how you'd find the average. You take the lowest to the highest, or highest to the lowest. Make sure it's the same on top and bottom, however you want to do it. All right. So now what you're going to do is I want you to find the slope formula. What is it? Maybe you remember what it is. Maybe you don't. Maybe you need to find it. Um, and then I want you to use that to find the slope that passes through negative 4, 3 and 2, 5. So this is a visual representation of the rate of change with a linear um, or with a line or linear equation. And then if you get a chance, check out Slope Dude. I posted the video on there. Um, he talks about the different types of slope you will see when you're graphing lines. All right, that's all I have for you. Have a wonderful day. Come with questions. See you later.